while I'm on the treadmill, I am I am hooked up to monitors uh, that measure uh, principally measure my my heart rate, and also my blood pressure is taken. And and obviously we have nurses around here supervising, so that in case anything were to go wrong with me health wise or otherwise, they could they could attend to me. So um, I get onto the treadmill and I set it first for a very slow pace just to warm up and then eventually uh, I set it, we set it at an incline and a speed level and with each week with uh, Jennifer and, and Michelle's uh, supervision we notch it up a little bit. We bring the, the incline up a half degree or bring, bring up the speed a little bit and it, again it's been great that, uh, to start out at, at, at a slower speed and, and now now I'm at a, at a really nice clip and a nice incline. So when I am done with the program, I can go out and be more physically active without it straining. Um, it's, again, it's been a welcome part of my routine. When, when you are a heart patient, while you're healing, it can be very boring, it can be very isolated. And just to, be, to have something to look forward to every, every three times a week uh, has been great. There yeah. are also s seminars and lectures that the department hosts that give information about eating habits or exercise habits, lifestyle habits. So physically, it's, it's, there's been a definite improvement for me in terms of energy and what I'm capable of doing. And, and emotionally and mentally, it's been very important to me and, and, and very much something I've looked forward to. It, it just, it gives, sometimes again, it gives me a reason to get up and get off my butt and come in and, and exercise and interact with, with people other, other than my caregiver. As far as cardio, cardiac rehab, uh, all I could say, of course, is, is if you have the opportunity, if you're in, my situ if you're in a situation where you, you're having heart difficulties and your doctor recommends that you go, uh, by all means go. There's no reason not to. It's an hour out of my day three times a week. That's three hours out of how many hours am I hanging around staring at my phone? How many hours am I watching television? So three hours that could be used to benefit me, to prolong my life for years. It's a small investment for such a large potential payback. And again, it's something I enjoy. I would very much recommend cardio rehab to anybody going through any issue, uh, especially post-surgery, anybody in a similar circumstance to mine. Um, it's, it's not only something worth recommending, I, I believe it's vital. I believe it's, it's as important as, as pretty much any other step in the process. Um, the next step in the recovery is waiting for the heart. That's the real next step. Um, I mean, while I am waiting, um, obviously I have regular uh, appointments with my cardiologist, so we keep things monitored, my, my blood pressure, my heart rate. Um, when I have finished with the program here for the cardio rehab, it is then up to me to continue the things I have learned and the habits that I have begun. It will be my responsibility to get out there. The weather is beautiful now. It's spring and I think it's going to stay spring so I can get out there and I can walk. The goal is to keep, keep going, that this isn't, there is no end to it. It's, it's only the beginning. And uh, I, I may uh, rejoin the gym. Cardiac rehab will be a vital part of my process once I have a new transplant of a heart. And it is, getting that transplant is a scary proposition. I am so looking forward to it. Um, because in that case I will be more independent. I will be able to drive to cardiac rehab without my wife having to take me. Cardiac rehab will help, you know, I, I like to say energy creates energy and, uh, and uh, lethargy creates more lethargy. It's very easy not to do things. It's so much easier to not do things than to do things. But when you actually get up and you do them, there is that feeling of accomplishment. I very much will be returning to cardio, cardiac rehab once I have heart transplant, and I am quite certain that it will be here at Helen Hayes Hospital.